Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have really interesting exponential equations 3 to the x equal to 3x and we need to find our x. And a lot of students might be saying, hey Mr. we can easily solve it in a few seconds, maybe x equal to 1, but then I ask them, what about other solution? Maybe we will have like more real number solution and it's a really tricky moment because a lot of students confused about it. And right now let's try to solve this question completely and step by step. So first of all, let's divide both sides by 3 to the power x. Okay, let's do this. So when we divide our left side, Side by 3 to the x, okay, we will have like 3 to the x divided by 3 to the x equal to 3x, we divide by 3 to the power x. Okay, on the left side right now, what do we have? We have 1 because we have the same numerator and denominator, we can easily cancel this, and 3 to the power x, let's bring to our to our numerator, but don't forget about a really interesting power rule when we have 1 over a to the power b, we can write it as a to the power minus b. Okay, so when we bring this 3 to the x in our numerator, we need to put we need to put minus. So as a result, what do we have? We have 1 on the left side equal to, we have 3x times 3 to the power minus x. Okay, 3 to the power minus x. Okay, this is our this is our first step. And right now, for better understanding, let's change position. So this expression, let's write on the left side. This on the right side. We have equal sign because uh, we prefer uh, our variables on the left side, our constant on the right side. So right now, let's change let's change positions. As a result, three x times three to the power minus x is equal to is equal to one. Right now, the second very tricky move right here. Let's try to create an expression which is really great for Lambert W function. But before before doing this, let's try to divide both sides by three. So let's leave these variables on the left side and let's divide both sides by by three. So when we divide both sides by three, we can easily cancel this from the from the left side. As a result, we have x times three to the power minus x is equal to 1 over over 3. And right now, as I told before, let's create a great expression for Lambert W function. For those who don't know about Lambert W function, when we have expression like that, a times e to the power a, when we apply Lambert W function to this expression, as a result, we have only only a. Okay, so right now let's try to create this type of expressions right here on the on the left side. So how can we do this? First of all, let's create our e, but how can we do this? Instead of this 3, let's write the next expression, because in terms of natural log properties, we can change this 3 by e to the power natural log 3. Okay, and this 3, let's change by this expression, e to the power natural log 3. As a result, what do we have? We have x times e to the power times e to the power minus x minus x times natural log 3 equal to 1 1 third. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. We just, just instead of this 3, we write e to the power natural log 3, but with this minus x right here, we need to write also this minus x. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's try to multiply both sides by natural log 3. Okay, or just by minus natural log 3, because if you look closely, we have right here minus x times nature log 3. And let's try to create the same expression right here. So let's multiply both sides by minus natural log 3. Okay, so instead of this uh, thing, let's multiply both sides by minus natural log 3. Okay, let's do this. So as a result, what do we have right here? X minus x times natural log 3 times e to the power minus x times natural log 3 times natural log 3 equal to one third times minus natural log 3. As a result, we have minus natural log 3 over 3. And right now, this is a very tricky moment, because if you look closely, we have minus x times natural log 3, and we have the same power minus x times natural log 3. And if you look closely to this definition of Lambert W function, we can easily apply this Lambert W function, because we have absolutely the same expression. This is a, this is a, so we can easily apply our, our Lambert W function. Let's do this right now. So let's apply Lambert W function of our left side of our minus x times natural log 3 times e to the power minus x times natural log 3 is equal to Lambert W function of minus natural log 3 over 3. Don't forget about the right side, we need to apply Lambert W function on both sides, on our left side and on our right side. As I told before, this is absolutely the same expression to this one, so as a result, when we apply Lambert W function, this is a, this is a, and as a result, we have our a. So on the left side, we have only minus x 
times nature log nature log 3 equal to this expression lambda w function of minus nature log 3 over over 3. Right now let's try to find our x. How can we do this with the basic with the basic move? Let's try to divide both sides by, by nature log 3. When we divide both sides by nature log 3, we can easily cancel this expression from our left side. As a result, on the on the left side we have minus x equal to lambda w function of minus nature log 3 over 3 and we divide all of this expression by this nature log 3 by this nature log nature log 3 and the final move right here we have minus x so we need to multiply both side by by minus 1 okay so right now let's multiply both side by minus 1 when we multiply both side by minus 1 as a result we will have only x on the left side so we have only x on the left side equal to and right here we have minus let's write this minus in our in our numerator so lambda w function of minus nature log 3 over 3 and we divide by nature log nature log 3. This is our final answer to this question. Don't be scared about, about this answer. This is very, very basic answer. This is a constant. This is a constant. Lambert W function of a constant. This is also, also a constant. But this Lambert W function has a lot of branches, uh, a lot of indices. So we completely, if you want to solve this question completely, you need to put and right here if you're talking about a full solution. And I find this solution for you because uh, if you're talking about a solution to this, uh, if you're talking about approximately answer to this, uh, to this uh, solution uh, x, x first is equal to is equal to 1 x first is equal to 1 this is a very obvious solution and as I told before a lot of students solve this question by inspection and they say that x equal to 1 let's write our question right here so in the beginning what we had we have 3 to the x equal to equal to 3x and as I told before x equal to 1 this is a very obvious solution but we can solve our question by inspection so we are talking about a full solution and when we are talking about a full solution right here we have the second one so x second is equal to 0 0.8826 this is also a solution a solution to this question so as you can see not only one but x second is equal to 0 0.826 according to this lambda w function branches so if you plug in this this question in your in your math library we can easily find two solutions the first one and and the second one we can't prove the second one you can easily you can easily check this solution in your on your calculator you can easily do this we can easily prove this x equal to 1 because from here 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3 times 1 this is a correct a correct expression okay so if you're talking about a proof we can easily prove this one this is your homework you can easily prove this second solution on your on your calculator and we can easily say that we have two two solutions so let's write our final answer right now we can see a plot to this challenge you can see this points two points of intersection which is which is really great so let's write our answer let's write our answer so x first x first is equal to one and x second is equal to 0 0.8 to fix. This is a very tricky question because a lot of students uh, do this common mistake. They say that only x is equal to 1. They they check it and they solve this question by inspection. But as you can see, when you know a little bit about a Lambert W function, when you know a little bit about these tricky moves right here, we can easily find also a second solution, which is really great because it's really great when you solve this question completely with, with all possible solutions. We have x first and x second, and this is also really great for you and, and for your teacher. Right now, let's look closely at this question once more so what do we have right here we first of all we divide both side by 3 to the power x secondly we want to group our constant on the on the right side our variables on the left side this is our first first step right now the second step we, we need to create lambert w function so the this function looks like that a times e to the power a okay when we create this type of expression and for this for this we we multiplied both side by minus natural log 3 and we change this 3 by e to the power natural log 3 when we do these two steps the first one and the second one we can easily apply lambert w function so on the left side when we apply lambert w function we have minus x natural log 3 and on the right side we have expression uh, constant of lambert w function 
okay two steps right here multiplying by minus one and we dividing by nature looks three and we have we have our answer don't forget about don't be scared about this about this uh, answer because lambda w function has a lot of a lot of branches so we are talking about about two solutions x first and x second this is a very tricky question so we hope you understand my explanation you can also write your notes write your solution down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it also write your your suggestion down into the comment section write what question what type of question you wanted to see on my on my youtube channel this is also really interesting to read about it so thank you everyone for your time i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time and see you in the next videos